Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is a tool, Maltigo. So what Maltigo is, here is a little overview of the application. The focus of Maltigo is analyzing real-world relationships between information that is publicly, publicly accessible on the internet. So pretty much if you're doing any information gathering or anything like that, you can use this tool to do this kind of information gathering. So this includes footprinting, internet infrastructure, as well as gathering information about the, about the people and an organization, an organization who owns it. Meaning, if you have an organization, ABC Incorporated, and you're doing a pen test or you're doing some kind of analysis on that company or an individual in that company, you can use this tool to scrape information or gather information. All right. And what we're going to be doing in this... Uh, in this video, we're going to be using Kali Linux, and I have my Kali Linux right here. Let me actually view in full screen, and I'm going to be using Kali 2020.4. So I want to open up a command uh, terminal. Let me make this a little bigger so we can see. So first things first, I like to do an if config and see, make sure I'm getting on the internet and testing connectivity out to the internet perfect so we do have internet access let's go ahead and clear that one other thing i want to do is i want to do sudo su but before i do that let's do this let's clear this i'm going to actually run these tools as a root user which is an admin so if i want to see who's the user now obviously you know it's cali but we can run who am i and we'll give that a second and you see right here it says cali this is the current user that we're running any application and sometimes we have to have uh, we're going to need uh, sudo and root privileges to run certain applications and I just like to be a super user so let's go ahead and sudo su and then whoops I think I fat fingered that did I? perfect I did it so now if I do who am I not Maltigo we're going to be getting to that in a second who am I now we are root who am I root all right cool deal so this is what we're going to be using. Um, we're going to be using this terminal. And I want to cancel that. I'm going to actually open up another one vertical to here. And if you see who am I over here, it's probably going to be Kali, which is fine. Because once we are ready for that side, I'm just going to keep this open make sure I don't have... Let's do this really quick. Whoops, I guess it's only A. Okay, perfect. So I just want to see the art. All right, so let's get down to business, shall we? So let's go ahead and clear this. The first things first, we're going to go ahead and run Multigo, right? We're going to go ahead and run this and hit enter. And this is going to go and open up Multigo. In my version of Kali, I'm running, it's running CE, which is Community Edition 4.2. Okay? So once this opens, it should ask us to log in. Uh, I guess I was already logged in, so that should be perfectly fine. So if it does ask you to log in, you just go ahead and log in. If you don't have a, uh, a login, all you have to do is hit register, put your information, you're gonna get an activation email. You click on the activation email and you should be golden. It's a very simple process. It's, it's not very difficult at all, okay? So once, uh, once you have it open, we're going to go ahead and create a new, uh, a new page. Sorry, I am, um, they call them new graphs. This is a virtual machine, so bear with me. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and run this really quick. Um, do something really quick. I want to see something. Okay. Yeah, we, sh we should be fine. Let's do history very quick. History. There's a command I want to run that. Mm, let's do super user and let's do history again. Uh, I guess it's not in here anymore. 
All right, no worries at all. It's all good. So we can go ahead and minimize this. So the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and create a new graph. And if you can see on the left-hand pane here, we have a whole bunch of options. We have recently used, I've used a person, I've used email, but then you can go for devices, companies, these are the groups. And the infrastructure, you can do AS, which is an internet autonomous system, a banner, DNS name, domain, IPv4 address, MX record, which is your email exchange record. Sorry about that, let me mute my phone. My apologies and name server etc you can go down this uh, this block here and see whatever kind of information you want to gather all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and have a fictitious name I'm not gonna run anyone that I know or and myself or anyone like that like this is strictly a made-up name like Bob Smith or John Doe or whatever but what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and run against a, a domain. We'll do two, two exercises, okay? We'll do a domain and a person. So did I already use domain? No, I used email. So let's go ahead and go to domain. If I can find it. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, domain. Okay, so we just drag this into this little uh, white area. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put the domain name. So what, I'm, what domain name I'm gonna use is hack, hackthissite.org. It's a learning platform so you can learn how to do pen testing, any kind of um, ethical hacking. So let's go ahead and ping hack this site. I think it's .org. That's just why I wanna make sure. Perfect, this is it. So that's perfectly fine. Let's do a control C. And I want to go ahead and copy this domain. And I want to go ahead and paste it here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and, whoa, I want to zoom it in, but not that much. All right. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and put the domain name in here. And we can go ahead and right click on here. And we see all transformers. If we hit this little plus sign, we can see a whole bunch of stuff that if we want to run for one thing, or another, whatever you want to run. But I want to go ahead and go back one, and I want to run all. If you hit this double arrow, it see it says run all. It might go a bit little bananas, but let's go ahead and do it. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and hit run. And it's going to go ahead and run. Transport output, and it's going to start generating information about their mail server, their website, a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, zoom out of it a little bit so we can see a little more. This is a lot of information, I know. So it all depends on what you're trying to look for. In this case, there's a lot of information for this company or this website. So there's phone numbers out there, there's email addresses. There's a lot of stuff associated with here. So what we can do, for example, if we wanna look at the website, want to look at DNS names we can see here so to make things easier I want to go ahead and export this to a like a pretty report so once if you have your information you've gathered you want it obviously in a pretty pretty pane of glass uh, so you can read it we can go to export import export up here and we can go ahead and generate report and then we're gonna go ahead and put this hack this site, hack this site, okay? And I wanna go ahead and put it right in here, that should be fine, okay? Let's go ahead and hit save. It's gonna go ahead and save this, generate it, and boom, it's successful. So I wanna X out of here, I wanna add one more. I wanna go ahead and hit this little guy down here, and I wanna go ahead and delete this. And the next one we're gonna do is a person. And we'll bring this guy in here. But before we actually get into this person, we're gonna go ahead and look at that pretty report, okay? So I have a folder here on my desktop named reports that I have my reports in, and we have hacked this site, okay? So if we open this, it should open up as a PDF because that's what I saved it as. And you can see here, we can zoom in. 
Uh, zoom in, and we can go across. And then what we can do is go to next. Whoop, we don't have to look at this at 400%. Let's go ahead and look at it, say 200, that should be good. So the number one, the top 10 in, in titles. So if we go in here, rank by income links. So we can see DNS, snapshots. Um, snapshots is probably something like the snapshot of the website. So you can go back, like it's probably like an archive type deal. The name servers they use in buddy, buddyns.com, maybe buddy name server. Some phone numbers are associated, etc. You know, there's a the rank by by outgoing links. So this is probably their mail server. So if we did like NS lookup and then set space type equals MX and then you know hack this site.org, we'll probably look, we'll probably get this server for the mail exchange server. Okay, so if we keep going down, this is pretty much a pretty, a pretty report. Uh, all the DNS servers, these are all the DNS servers, the domains uh, that are associated with hack this site, email addresses, uh, maybe this is some weekend, maybe this is the on call, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Um, but this is the IP addresses, this is the location, Kirtland, US. The, the mail exchange so it looks like they're using Google they're probably using Google Apps Google Mail and etc you get the point okay so this is pretty much if you keep going down number three and the same same goes for here this is the who is information it has a lot of information that's useful if this was your target you could put this in your report so you have this as part as your as part as for your reconnaissance okay part of your reconnaissance process. Okay, so I want to X out of here. I want to X out of this guy. And we're gonna go back to Maltigo. And now we're gonna go ahead and put a put a, uh, a person. All right, so what person, let's think of a name. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see if we could do John Doe. We can just hit run all for John Doe, run. See if John Doe has anything out there. Perfect, he does. Fake that, yeah, because God only knows who the hell John Doe is, right? So, so this is pretty, pretty cool. The same kind of stuff goes for this. Let's go ahead and bring this smaller and bring this a little up more. Oh, it's a little too much. All right, and then we can go down and we can see everything that's, look, we have some YouTube. So we have attachments, properties, we can look you know, this is the email address of John Doe. Probably someone made up that email. Um, you know, you can look at some kind of info. You know, uh, that's fine. Maybe because I don't have a default browser. I don't think, I don't remember setting up my default browser on here. But that's to be fine. And then, you know, these are people. These are people's email. And we can go ahead and you can run on here. For example, and then it'll spread out and go through this on the internet and it'll look for anything that's associated with that. Obviously, it didn't really find anything, which is fair enough. So if we double click this, this is someone's full name. They're using probably some alias or whatever they're doing. But you guys get the point. And the same thing goes for here. So if we want to go ahead on this person, if this was like the CEO or whoever you're trying to do some reconnaissance on, we can do the same thing. We can go to uh, import export generate report we can just put this John Doe enter so we'll save that I'll go right in, into our reports folder John Doe and the same thing goes for here next same thing next but you guys get the point okay so that pretty much sums up the video about Maltigo Maltigo has a whole bunch of different tools you know you can do organization obviously i don't want to be here all day i just want to show you guys how to use the tool and just to get your feet wet so if you guys have any questions about the tool feel free to reach out to me hopefully you guys enjoyed it please share like subscribe uh, if you have any questions just hit me up on my social media and um, i'm here to help all right guys take care thank you for viewing